Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am going to make some bread. Um, not just any type of bread, but we're going to be making French bread today. Now I was one of the lucky people that was already stacked up on yeast. Um, I have, hold on, I'll show you. I just got it in a baggie right now, but um, it's a Red Star Active Dry Yeast. And since I had already purchased it, because when I was going through my cabinets, I noticed mine was old and you know just past due. So I had just picked some up before all of this madness hit. So thank goodness I have this, because from what I understand and from, from what I'm hearing, it's kind of hard to find right now. So if you're lucky enough to get your hand on some yeast, definitely pick some up, because since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and try to start making some bread, and since I'm home, I actually have the time to do so. So this week we're going to be making the French bread. Last week or the week before, I will link that one below, I made bread in the bread maker. Once I get my bread pans, and um, quick story on that one, I ordered some bread pans from Amazon because I had asked if you wanted me to make bread not in the bread maker just make it by hand and I didn't have like the full loaf I mean I have like regular bread like for banana bread but not bread pans that would make like a full sandwich type loaf bread so I went ahead and ordered those but they're not going to be here until it's going to be like a month before they get here so I'm going to hold off on making that one but in the meantime I'm just going to go ahead and start making different types of breads so I have two more breads on my radar. I thought maybe we would just do this, just a new type of bread every week. So hopefully that'll be something that you'll like. I know it's something that we're super gonna like. My husband loves homemade fresh baked bread, and as do I. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this too. So don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Um, just by hitting that little thumbs up down below, really does a lot to help my channel and help others to discover my channel I think is how it goes so don't forget give me a thumbs up always always leave me some comments below and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel I think we have a little bit of fun over here so with that said let me turn you around I'm gonna go ahead and pre-measure the ingredients to make this go a little quicker and then we'll get started in making our French bread today Okay, so today's recipe only calls for five ingredients and we're gonna get two huge loaves of French bread out of this. So I have six cups of all-purpose flour and we'll talk about the flour in just a few minutes as I'm starting to throw this together. This is the flour I'm using today, just the gold metal. I have four teaspoons of regular sugar. I have four teaspoons of salt and I have three teaspoons of that active dry yeast. I'll put a picture here of the exact one that I'm using. I think I showed you in the intro, but I'll show you again. And then I'm gonna have two and a half cups of super warm water, not hot, but warm to the touch, almost hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled together and then we'll go ahead and get started on the recipe. But I just wanted to kind of give you a quick rundown on the ingredients before we got started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna pour in our water. And again, you just wanna make sure that it's it's warm, not, not super hot, but slightly warm to the touch. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in that four teaspoons of sugar. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and stir that to make sure it's dissolved. What that's gonna do is the sugar will help the yeast start to activate and that's what's going to give you that yummy that yummy fluffy bread all right so that looks good i had to dig downstairs in my stash to figure out where my big bowl was i picked this up at one of those one of those outlet places and this bowl was not perfect because of the fact that it was not completely clear and smooth because it kind of had some I don't want to say discoloration, but you can see sometimes there's this, you could see the the lines in it. It wasn't like totally one solid color. So fine with me. I mean, I'm totally fine getting something that is not perfect and save, you know, more than half the money on it. So if you come across one of those and it's a good price, get it because you never know when you're going to need it. All right. Next thing we're adding in is that yeast and that is three teaspoons of the active dry yeast. 
And we're just gonna go ahead and let that sit for a minute until you start to see it foam. And then we know that we are good to go and we can start to go ahead and add in the flour and then the salt. It takes about 30 seconds, so I'm going to come back as soon as that's ready so that I don't bore you with this stuff. Okay, we're just gonna give that a quick little stir here. And you can see that it's starting to foam up. You can see that's this, this little film here that it's given us, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to dump in the flour. And I'm only gonna dump in about, uh, not, not all of it, but most of it, so that we can start to get it incorporated. And sometimes you don't need all the flour. You just wanna make sure it's the right consistency. So rather than dumping it all in and then figuring out that you have too much flour, it's always easier just to add flour as you go. All right, so just going ahead and giving that a quick stir. Dough is still a little bit wet. I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a bit more. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn this out onto my counter. I'm gonna grab my pastry mat real quick and then we'll get this turned out on the pastry mat and we're gonna start to knead the dough. Okay, I've got my pastry mat out here. We're just gonna go ahead and bring our, I'm gonna actually throw some flour on this pastry mat just to make sure that we're good to go. You definitely don't want it sticking. And I really like this pastry mat. I'm pretty sure I got this one at Pampered Chef. And it comes in handy all the time. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice little thing to have. I just keep it in my utensil drawer. All right. All right, so we're just gonna start to bring this together and start to pull it and push it just to start to make it into one big ball of dough. And it's still, you can see how it's still sticking to my hands, which means that I just need to add a little bit more flour to the top of this. So I'm just gonna keep adding a little flour here and there. And again, I'm still working from that bowl that has the six cups of flour in it. I'm just gonna throw some on this side and then I'm gonna flip it and throw some on the other side to kinda, cause this side is a little sticky too. All right, perfect. All right, so if you watched my bread maker video, when I'm making bread in the bread maker, it's just basically a dump and go. So I just dump everything in there and let it do its thing. So this is definitely a little more work, but again, gonna be so worth it in the end. I mean, if you ever make homemade bread and you have it baking in your oven, it just smells phenomenal. All right. That look, it's looking pretty good. So what I did is I researched a bunch of recipes and kind of came up with just the, something that was super consistent to be able to pull together this recipe because again, I'm more of a bread maker girl and I just don't make a lot of bread by hand. All right, so if I've done this right, and it's ready to go and I have it together. If I hit it, it bounces back. See, can you, hopefully, can you see that start to bounce back? So, that is good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab this. We're going to put it back into our original bowl. I'm gonna get a warm towel, just a damp towel. I'm gonna lay over our bowl here 
And that we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for a half hour and just let the dough rise. So once that's done, I will come back and we will get to our next step. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take our rags off. Now I'm a little nervous because um, if you didn't notice, I'll, <laughs> I forgot to put the salt in. So in my little freak out session, I threw it back onto my mat and added some salt to the dough. Hopefully that doesn't mess with anything. Um, we'll see because in typical Kim fashion, this is how I do things. I will, I guess, test the boundaries on recipes that I try. So hopefully when I pull this off, it has risen. Um, it's been a half hour, so, and it has. So it's doubled in size, that's awesome. So. Apparently I didn't mess it up too much, but everybody likes French bread. So if this turns out great, trust me, I will be making this again. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to, I still have a little dough here. I guess I should have cleaned this off, but I knew I was going to use it again. So I didn't want to, so I just have some flour here. I'm just going to put some flour onto our mat. What do you guys think of this angle? I am testing out, I got a new holder. And I really like this angle. Okay, so I'm going to turn this out of our bowl here. Let's see. I'm just going to try to get it out of here real easy. I was going to try to give you guys a good view on that, but it's a little hard. So there we go. All right, you can see it is still a little sticky, so I'm just gonna throw some more flour on top of there. I'm gonna to try to position it a little bit better because now is the fun. Look, I have my rolling pin. And if you have a rolling pin and you never use it, look, now we're, we're using more and more stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start to roll this out. And again, this is my first time making it, so I am not perfect at this. <laughs> again, I always take the cheater method and use my, my bread maker. So we're just going to go ahead and get this rolled out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this dough in half because I'm going to make two loaves of French bread. This is going to rise a second time. So I'm going to go ahead and let it rise for, I think, 20 more minutes. Looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Let me grab one of my knives here. Close enough. Just gonna cut it down the middle. <laughs> See how it bounced back real quick. All right, so I think this is how you do it. I think you roll it from the middle. this up a little bit all right so got that rolled up it's gonna tuck the edges here I'm gonna set this one aside I'm gonna try to get that and make sure that's all incorporated we're gonna do the same thing with this one I'm just gonna roll it I don't know if there's like a technique that you're supposed to use but we're gonna do the best we can our first time out, right? It's not about perfection, it's about having some yummy bread. All right, just gonna go ahead and tuck this end in. All right, so I'm gonna grab my cookie sheets. I have two separate cookie sheets. Those are big, long rolls. I'm, I'm wondering if that, maybe I should have like made them smaller. I don't know, Let's see if I can. All right, first time. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Those are big, long rolls. All right, it's cracking me up. I'm going to grab some parchment paper. Hopefully these fit. There. All right, that's good, right? Look, try to get you all in the frame here. 
All right, so I'm gonna get the other one on my parchment paper over here. Bear with me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this, throw that in the sink, and then I'm going to let these sit. I'm gonna actually move them over to my stove. I'm just gonna try to give you a look at them. And I'm gonna let them sit on my stove for 20 minutes and let them rise a second time. And then we're gonna throw them into a 375 degree oven. And then I will come back and once we put it in the oven, I'll, when I get ready to put them in the oven, I'll show you one more time, so hang tight. Okay, one last thing. I thought I would go ahead and put some slices in this one. I heard that's what you're supposed to do. Because that way it doesn't crack. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do it to both of them. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that before it continues to rise so that as it's rising it won't crack. I think that's what they said it would happen. Again, I've been doing research all week to make sure that I try to get all the tips for you guys. So this is what they look like. They are still do going through their last rise they're gonna be huge I'm just so excited like so excited all right so stay tuned I'll show them to you one last time when they have finished their second rise okay so before I throw this in the oven I wanted to quickly tell you I almost forgot I was gonna to talk to you about the flour that I was using today so when I bake my breads I always use all-purpose flour I know that some recipes call for a bread flour Bread flour is super expensive. Um, you can get, I don't know, it just, it's way more expensive. I, I don't even know the prices, it's been a long time. But when I first started making bread back, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago or more, don't, don't wanna date myself, but a long, long, long time ago, I had tried it. I had tried the bread flour and then also the all-purpose flour. And there's really not a huge difference. I mean, there really isn't. So save yourself some money, grab the all-purpose flour, nine times out of 10, you already have that in your kitchen, and just use what you have. So, all right, so with that said, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't forget to tell you that. All right, so let me show you what they look like. Um, they have risen just a little bit more, and they'll continue to rise a little bit more in the oven as we get them in there. So I'm gonna grab you and bring you over, show you what these looks like, what they look like and that we're gonna get them in the oven. Okay, so this is what it looks like and you can see that again It's just it's nice and springy as you start to touch it So we're gonna go ahead and get these into the oven. I have the oven again at 375 degrees We're going to bake these for about 20 25 minutes and then when we pull them out We're gonna have super yummy bread <laughs> Well, at least I'm hoping we do with my little my little bobble with the salt issue, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. So, all right, let me get this in the oven and I'll come back. Okay, it's been 22 minutes. We're going to take a quick peek and see how it's coming along. Ooh, it's looking good. Look at that. It smells delicious. All right, we're going to, I'm going to flip these pans around and just let it cook for a couple of more minutes and then we will pull them out. So hang tight. Okay, here's our bread. I'm going to try to flip this over just so you can see how that looks underneath. It's nice and golden brown. Hopefully you're getting a good view of that one. And this one, same way. Oh, it looks amazing. All right, so if you like the top to be a little more that golden brown crust, you could also do like an egg wash before you throw this in the oven. But to me, I'm fine. I, it's it, There's a little bit of flour on top, but that's totally fine because I just... To me, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. You don't have to go through that extra step and you're good to go. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and cool down. Um, my house smells absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then I will cut this and try it. I know that my husband's gonna be super happy and I am going to gift a loaf to a friend. And again, I want to be able to test out a new recipe for you, so I don't need to have 25 loaves of bread laying around my house each and every week because again, I am trying to follow my WW plan here and stay on track. So with that said, I'm going to sign off from here for now. Um, I'll come back and let you know what I think. I, I, yeah, I'll just, I'll do that because I know you're probably dying to see me cut it and go from there. So before I sign off fully, um, I'll come back. All right, 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut our bread. I'm just gonna move one of these out of the way. Turn this around. Just gonna cut into that right here. Nice thing. It's got a nice little crunchy, crunchy. Oh, look, I thought it was crunchy, but look, it was a piece of my parchment paper. <laughs> There's your laugh for the day, but it's still, I mean, it still is nice and look. All right, I'm just gonna give this a try. Oh, this is so good. All right, this would be super dangerous to make all the time. So make sure when you make this, it's a nice, it's a nice treat. I'm gonna just move you on a little bit here. So good. All right, so this one, definite winner. I will try to remember to put this, I'll put the ingredients below and I'll try to remember to run this through my app so I can tell you how many points this would be based on how we cut this. So, oh, so good. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna finish that piece. I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope that you enjoyed today's video and we will see you next time.